Right now here at noon, the Hialeah teen accused of stabbing his mother to death is back in court. It comes after disturbing crime scene photos were released in the case. And local 10 News reporter Trent Kelly is live in Miami with what happened during that hearing today. Trent. Yeah, Janice and Christy, today's hearing was called after defense attorneys for the 13-year-old suspect alleged that his rights were being violated by housing him in the juvenile wing of an adult detention center while he awaits trial. They're now asking the judge in this case to move him to a juvenile facility. While ultimately nothing was decided today, the judge in this case did agree to hold another hearing on this matter later this week. It all comes just one day after we saw chilling new photos of of that crime scene. 13 year old Derek Rosa appearing in a Miami Dade courtroom yet again today as his defense team asked for jail logs in their effort to move the teen to a juvenile facility. Rosa, who's accused of stabbing his own mother to death back in October, has been held in a juvenile wing of the Metro West Adult Detention Facility ever since his arrest. It comes one day after prosecutors released chilling new images showing the knife that they say Rosa used in the attack. Surveillance photos from the same day show his mother, Irina Garcia, in bed holding her newborn. 40 minutes later, Rosa appears to stand over the bed. Police say the teen stabbed his mom repeatedly while she was sleeping. Another photo then shows Rosa posing with what looks like blood on his hands before calling 911. I was going to shoot myself, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Where is that gun right now? It's in the living room. I loaded it. I pulled back the slide, but I did not shoot. When police arrived at their Hialeah home, they say Garcia was on the edge of her bed with several stab wounds to her neck. The baby was not hurt. So far, Rosa has pleaded not guilty to a murder charge. His attorney also asking the judge to transfer him to a juvenile detention center. And again, on that uh, uh, juvenile detention center issue, the judge ultimately did not make any decision here today, but he did agree to hold another hearing on this, uh, giving defense attorneys the chance to call witnesses uh, on this issue. That is scheduled to happen this coming Thursday. Until then, Rosa will continue to be held at the Metro West Adult Detention Center in the juvenile facility there. For now, that is the very latest live outside the Metro Justice Building in Miami. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.